Hi, this is Brian with King Grizzly. Today we're going to look at how to do overlapping content in Elementor. There's a variety of ways, especially with absolute positioning. Like you can take an element like an image and kind of put it anywhere you want. Um, I'm most typically going to be talking about the instance where you'd have probably two columns that are overlapping each other slightly. This is kind of a cool effect. So I, I dropped in a sort of a starter template here to speed things up from Envato Elements. Um, but we'll, we'll also try to just build a couple sort of ugly small um, panels as an example. So just breaking down the way this one's put together, it's pretty straightforward. You know, I should turn on Navigator here. Let's take a look. So we've got a section with two columns, right? Um, in fact, thanks Navigator. So in the left column here, we have an intersection inside of it. It has content and you can see that's centered in its own column so it's the image really that's moving left and the image is sitting inside an intersection i can check the settings on this and there's no negative margins so it's like how is that image moving and then i if i click inside the intersection I'm, I'm actually clicked i'm on the image itself and you can see there's a there's a negative 200 pixels on the image so that's how that image is being moved over now interestingly enough I turn that off it still looks good uh, but we could go to custom positioning and, and you can get crazy like I can click absolute and then I can, I can drag this thing um, it gets it can get wild um, but things can also break too um, but that's something worth knowing is you can really mess around with things like images I'm gonna put it back to how it was with command Z over and over but let's just try to make a rough overlap ourselves. I'll show you a couple other ways to do this. So let's um, let's add a section. I can think of, of two ways that come to mind. One would be we've got a section with two columns and we are essentially creating negative margin setups. Or you could actually overlap to two intersections or two sections using some transparent columns. So let's take a look at what the first. So I'm gonna make a two column section here I'm just gonna throw in some stuff right so a heading uh, some text it's gonna be ugly let's uh let's put some padding on here spice things up a little bit click on the container section we'll just add some, some padding uh, let's see here so we've got some text um, on the right, we'll drag in a, I don't know, video. There we go. Let's vertically align our text. Middle. So, maybe we want to give sort of a background color to this and hover it slightly over the video. I would do that with an intersection. I'm going to drag that inside here, get rid of the extra column. Let's go ahead and drop our heading and our text in there. We can put some padding inside of our intersection. Give it 35 pixels. Let's give it a background color. Something we can see. We'll use this green and I'm gonna give it a transparency. Okay, so we've got a column with the intersection, and then we've got this video. So let's see what we can do. One, I can click on this column here. I could give it a left margin that's negative. It's funny, if you just start typing negative in Elementor, it just <laughs> keeps a zero. A couple things you could do is start pressing down, and it gives you negative. So I often just start pressing my down arrow, get negative two, maybe add a couple zeros to that. Um, and then you, or you can like select and kind of fiddle around. Obviously, we've got a problem here because the video is in front of my intersection. So what I would do in that case is first I'd click on my intersection. I'd go to advanced. I use something called Z index, which is just kind of how things layer in CSS. I'm gonna give it a value of one, and look at that. It it, bring, it basically sets it higher than than the video. You can use up. I don't know if it stops, but I, I don't usually go higher than 999. <laughs> but, but one works, and I can see that, that it's hard to, to see with the color so faint, so maybe I'd 
darken that up and change my heading color to something else. It's horrible for colorblindness, but that'll work for our demo. So there's one way to do it. Now by doing this, we've made this a little bit off center, right? So the video, there's a bigger gap on the right side than the left. I might work to try to offset that somehow. Um, there's different ways I could do it. Essentially with my intersection here or this column or this container section, I might fiddle around with like, what if we take the left padding and we make it bigger? Okay, so then that sort of visually equalizes the heights and you can just kind of tinker. So that's one way to do it, right? Um, let's look at another possible way to do this. Um, make a new section. This would be overlapping. We could do this with sections, or I think we could do it with a section that has intersections inside of it. So I'll do a section and I'll give it some, some padding. Oops. I like the idea of doing a section with intersections in it because then uh, it's it's one nice object that I can drag around as opposed to two sections that are handled separately. So then inside of this, I'm gonna put in an intersection. I actually want it to be two columns and then I'm gonna duplicate it. So now I have two intersections. And my idea here is I'm gonna to try to sort of recreate this effect, um, but I'm gonna do it by putting a negative top margin on, on the second intersection or maybe a negative margin, mar margin on the top, it maybe doesn't really matter. I'm gonna copy this video and paste it in this first one. Then I'm gonna copy this intersection from there. I'm gonna paste it in the left side. Oh, okay, I've got a problem, right? <clears throat> My problem is I can't put an intersection in an intersection. Um, so that might potentially be a reason to try to overlap two sections. But for what I'm trying to do, I can probably get away with just treating my column. So I click on this column. I'm gonna give it a background color. This time, maybe we'll just do gray. Give it a little opacity. Don't see anything yet, because there's no content in there. I'm gonna copy that text. Paste. It's a good tip. Sometimes I'll drop a spacer in a column so it just shows the background image or a background color. Copy that. It's too dark. Make it white. Text color white. Okay. Then that column needs some padding. I think I used 35 before. So there we go. Um, I think what I need to do is uh, add the negative margin. So, oops. I'm going to click on the intersection. Go to advance on the top and start going negative. We'll try negative 200. Um, looks like it needs more, negative 300 maybe. Just kind of play with it until I get it. Now, they're not overlapping, right? So what's up with that? Well, here's a kind of cool trick. I'm going to click on this first intersection, and I'm going to make the left column just not as wide of a... It's not going to be 50% wide. Why don't we try like 35? Um, and maybe on the second intersection, I don't want the box to overlap so much. So I'm going to click on the first column and I'm going to set the width of it. Instead of 50% uh, of the width, what if we use something like 40? Oh, cool. So now you can see we're getting the overlap. We just need to adjust that top negative margin. Let's try, whoops, went the wrong way. Huh? Let's try negative 300 again. Um, this, I, can, I can arrow up and down until I get something I like. So there we go. Something like that, and then you, what you have to do is go to, say, the tablet, the mobile views, and adjust as needed. And you may decide on some views like mobile to just get rid of the negative margins and stack things. But those are a couple ways I know how to do it. And then the, you know that third option of you can use absolute positioning on an image. That's a that's a good way to go too. So those are. Those are a few ideas for overlapping content to come up with really cool looking effects in Elementor. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, please consider subscribing to uh, this YouTube channel as we'll keep on rolling out Elementor and, and WordPress related uh, videos. Thanks.